Okay, so we need some uh, 30 micron mylar. Not sure why I use 30. Well, So this coil is not like really complicated thin traces so this still looks a little bit like there are some adhesion problems to the table but I think in this case it might be fine. If I had to like cut tweeters I'm pretty sure that was not fine because it will like let go somewhere and screw up your whole design. So I'm trying to do both coils in one go, then I'll take this outside and see if we can mount the miler on top of it. <clears throat> Hopefully, although I'm not too sure because I'm not completely happy about the frame I just used. Maybe I'll make it... Ah, fuck it. Maybe I'll make a makeshift thing only to dump on the miler because now it's a bit janky. First let's cut this thing, maybe I'll make a frame in the background, who knows. Um, yeah, coil. Hello. Corona stuff makes makes my hearing weird. This all sounds like damped a little bit. Something weird. It sounds more harsh to me normally. I like this sound better and sm smoother, but <laughs> it's not how it's supposed to sound. Yeah. Anyhow, um, yeah. Let's try and cut it. most complicated coil so hopefully it works. Don't jinx it. I'll probably not record all of this because to you you can only see a white thing and a thing going around. It, it will do this for quite some time so I'll just stop the recording now. So, that's one cup. Uh, yeah. Nice, grinding noises. It took quite a time to cut this. Maybe because it's quite a long end. Every time when I do this, I think it's quite a lot of work actually. 
Why? Why am I doing this? Now I'll weed out the uh, stuff I don't need. Like that. <clears throat> so now we're looking at the back side here. See if I can blow in some air with my mouth. Never tried that on a tire. Hmm, yeah, that works. So there's a slight tension on it, not much. Put this away. Then we remove the rest of this material. Ow, material. You don't need this huge bar here since we got one already to line it up on the panel. So I only do the coil. You see that line there? I hope that's not a cut. So I'll check that before I continue. So can I check it here? Where's a safe way to check it? No. I think it's folded over a little bit of aluminium there. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it's still in one piece. So although it did look like a cut, it's not a cut. True. Now if I line this up, you can see it's mirrored. So what I, I only look at the traces going, the vertical traces, and I have to line those up, then drop it on. Too bad the sun is not helping here. So now there's only one coil.
try to line up the coil with the um, stickiness of the cutting mat. Like this, it, it makes weeding out the uh, leftovers easier. There you have it, a double-sided coil. And what is nice about it is this part here. <clears throat> so if you look at this coil, it goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 it repeats itself zillion times and it ends up here and here you can see the back side of the coil on the other side which starts fortunately directly underneath this strip and then does the whole routine and ends up here so I only have to solder here through the mylar make a connection to the coil on the other side and then I have two connection points on either side of the coil which is very convenient that is the actual connection for the whole thing <clears throat> so yeah it happens to be perfect if you mirror it it's <laughs> well it happens I mean you might expect that uh, but that's the reason why I have created here this huge overlap so I can solder through here in multiple locations if I want so I'm gonna repeat this I think because it's not a very fun job to do so let's be uh, let's just do it and be done with it So I'm gonna struggle with some mylar once more inside. Not gonna film it of course, because it's completely boring. <laughs> 